Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 10th of September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SHFS. These um, ensembles, very much time for weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us in towards the last stage of September and I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video is our 6 MUK weather forecast. We've also released a weekend forecast and the EC42 data. So check out all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much for doing that. Running very, very late with this one. I've been out for the afternoon doing lovely family stuff. So uh, I'm just going to crack on with, it, with the video. I won't talk about anything else. We're going to start off searching the temperature. We've now ticked down to 17.0. That's 1.3 degree above the 61 to 1990 average per visual to yesterday the 30th of uh, August. I've got a feeling that might end up at 16.9. We might just avoid uh, 17 Celsius at CT August there. Um, We shall see tomorrow when it updates. But it was quite a chilly night again last night in the CT zone. And, um, uh, you know, it's not that warm today, really, either. So I think that might tick down to 16.9. But we shall see when that updates tomorrow. We could hold at 17.0, but I think it might tick down to 16.9. So we'll see. Um, right, well, these are the GFS upper air, up air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're going to exit it today, home of the UK Met Office. So, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Exeter. We're starting off a little bit above average at the moment. We're actually going to lift up even more, though, over the next couple of days. And then return back closer to average again as uh, we go through towards the middle of next week. Before perhaps rising up again into the latter stages of next week and the weekend of like the uh, 7th and the 8th of September. Beyond that, there is a bit of a cooling trend through the second week of September. That's the middle part of the month. Although that does hide the marsh a lot of scatter. So we've got cooler on some members down here, warmer on some members up here. So, um... You know, really vast, um, the scatter mass, you know, the trend. But I think the trend probably is downwards through the second week of September. And looks a little bit showery as well, I have to say. Not as dry as it has been, uh, probably, anyway. <coughs> so, sorry, everyone. Not as dry as it has been, just regular precipitation spikes, really from about tonight and tomorrow onwards, actually, and then just through next week and into the second week of September as well. Temperature anomaly is from the 30th of August, 8th of September, coming out above average for UK and for Ireland. And a precipitation anomaly from the 31st of August, 8th of September, drier than normal, despite that rather showery looking graph there. The line to ripple out from Earth, no school dot net shows that high pressure is in control today, sitting to our north east around that, bringing the wind. From an easy direction, we have got a trough that's moving up from the south that will be increasing the risk of heavy downpours and maybe thunder through uh, tonight, tomorrow, and into Monday as well. Right, well, that takes us very nice through the chart data. So that trough has become an area of low pressure to the north of Scotland by uh, midnight on Tuesday with the latest UK Met Euro run. Looking rather mixed to start next week under a trough of low. For the second half of next week, high pressure ridges in from the Atlantic. Winds pull in to the northeast. It's becoming cooler in the south and the east. Still with some showery berth, but quite dry and warm up in the north. That takes us through to midnight next Saturday. Again, got a trough to the south with some showery berths through East Anglia. South East seeing mostly dry through central and northern regions with quite a lot of warm weather on offer. Icon, again, we push that trough through on Tuesday. And that still goes into Wednesday for high pressure building nicely from me as always through Thursday and Friday. Mostly dry and pretty warm as well as we go into uh, next week. As far as we get to with Icon to uh, midday next Saturday, 7th of September, high pressure still ridging in from off the Atlantic. Mostly dry and quite warm there. Uh, KMA okay, again, that trough and that's followed by it through the open part of the week. And then that's followed by the reach through the middle part. Of next week, nice ridge of high pressure building in from the uh, west. But ridge then pulls out to our uh, west, and a trough starts digging in from the north. So, turning cooler and more unsettled there 
as we go into the second week of September. Really bring those winds around to a northeast direction. It's actually turning really quite chilly. <laughs> Not just cool, but quite chilly there. Almost, you say, cold um, by the 10th of uh, September. And then it's up reverting to flatter westerly flow. So certainly a cooler and uh, more showery second week of September there with KMA. We have a GFS midnight run is looking. Almost a shift to the last stages of next week. High pressure building in from the Atlantic, bringing lots of dry and a pretty warm weather in with it. <coughs> so, so much more, everybody. Then a trough beginning to get going again. Down to the south by the 10th of September, but nowhere near as cool and showering as the KMA is. Eventually, we do turn and settle, though. Takes us to about the middle part of September for that to happen. And it's very excellent rain stuff, but we do finish up eventually with a bit of a dartboard. Let's have a look at six there by comparison. Again, we've got high pressure building in very nicely through the second half of next week. That will pull the wind around to an easterly or southeasterly, becoming increasingly warm through uh, the last stages of next week. And then next weekend, we might start to see a thundery low coming back up from the south again, bringing risk of more heavy downpours and or thunder. Get through it around the 12th of September and the 13th, low pressure sitting just to our south, and that will be bringing further heavy rain to the south in particular. The north could be relatively dry, and then the Azores highs having got building in yet again into the middle part of September, bringing drier and warmer weather back. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to share everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know. If you can about this and all of our videos and content, don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Weathers. Get them to subscribe too. Make sure to share everyone for doing that. GM, once more, with all low pressure around the country on Tuesday. Then high pressure builds in for the second half next week, bringing a lot of dry and warm or very warm weather. That low pressure, that high pressure then begins to break and low pressure takes over through the weekend, 7th, 8th of September, looking increasingly volatile there. Maybe with some big downpours, head rain and thunder. And we end up with a dark board low and Camorras right over the top of the country. Heavy showers, longer spells of rain and looking pretty cool then as well. Much more autumnal with the GEM by days 8, 9, 10. And then the East End rounding it all off again. We've got low pressure close to catch on Tuesday and Wednesday for high pressure. Builds back in nicely through Thursday and Friday. We've got dry and warm weather in with it. To a turn very warm through the weekend to 7th, 8th of September. Huge disagreement between the model output. For the day 8, 9, 10 period, ECM ends up at day 10 on the 10th of September. No sign of a breakdown today, actually looking mostly dry, fine, and potentially very warm with winds coming in from an east or a southeasterly direction. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody, this is the Pacific World Gas Bay Summit ECM run from Tibetshow.com. Up comes some heavy showers and maybe some thunder through the course of tonight and tomorrow into Monday. More downpours are likely a bit further northwards, maybe this time. And then through the middle part of next week, things start drying out as the high pressure begins to take back over. But always a risk of some downpours through southern and southwestern parts of the country later next week. And even into the weekend, St. Paper, September, actually, heavy showers and thunderstorms are not all that far away. In the far south and southwest, so potentially going into a hot, volatile period. B side the options on the table within the ECM on solid stage four day temp. The Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 10th of September. 19 members of the ECM on solid with high pressure in the Atlantic, bridge to the north, potentially low pressure to the south. That could bring some wet and punchy weather into the south. We've got 12 with high pressure in the Atlantic, that's dry up a little bit cooler. Winds maybe from an east or northeast direction. We've got nine with high pressure even further north. It's green and ice and low pressure is across England and Wales. That'll bring the wettest weather into the south. We've got six. Oops, what's happening? My heart We've got six. It's low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west. That's going to be cool and showery. Winds in from north. And we've got five with high pressure ridging to the north, low pressure to the southwest. And uh, that brings in a lot of the warm weather. And potentially quite dry weather too. Range of options all involved in the placement of high pressure. How far, how far north and west will that high pressure go? That's what uh, the critical 
scenario is going to be. And then two time, these are the options that we've got. Gets 15th of September. And I managed to draw, draw a complete straight line there. That's unusual for me. Um, the 18 members of the ECF ourselves in low pressure, chop of low. Over top of the country, high pressure going up towards Green Iceland. That's going to be cool and unsettled. This option also cool and unsettled. 17 with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the northwest. That brings the wind in from the north. Again, cool and quite wet with that one. And then 16 with high pressure over and to the west of the country. So a lot of dry weather with that, but could be a rather on the cool side. So a lot of options on the table for day 10. Might still hang on to a lot of dry and warm weather there, but in two weeks, it looks like we may actually revert to a rather cooler and more unsettled scenario there. Share best V2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and not bring down into week periods, the first week period takes us from the 31st of August to the 6th of September. But next week we'll have high pressure to the north and a trough will be to the south. That brings the most unsettled weather into the southern part of the country. Week 2 is going to be the 7th to the 13th of September with high pressure in the Atlantic heading up towards Greenland. Low pressure is across France Bay down into the bed. It's a little bit more unsettled into the south. And then week three <laughs> will be the 14th to the 20th of September. High pressure in Scandinavia. Low pressure somewhere around the Alps. Winds coming in from the east with that. Could still be quite showery in the south in particular. Week four, though, gets us back to high pressure today. It's the 21st, 27th of September. Big air of high pressure sitting right over top of the country once again. That will bring a lot of dry and warm weather with it. We shall see. Long way out. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment and say what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gal as well as get them to subscribe too. Amazing, incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. I'll just talk to having on my channel tomorrow. I've got a big day tomorrow for Gal's Worthy. So we can start off, as usual, with 6 a.m. forecast. But at 10 a.m., it is the big ones, one you've all been waiting for. Yes, we will be releasing the first winter. 2024-25 update so we begin winter updates every sunday from tomorrow right the way through to the end of november and they're releasing a winter forecast at the beginning of december so we'll be building up through the autumn to uh to to winter with weekly winter updates first one of those gets underway tomorrow and i can't wait to get started on the winter updates for 2024 2025 it's great to me and then half five half an hour earlier than usual i'll be live on youtube across the world with gals where live stream so discuss the winter update we'll do a 10 to 14 day and of course we'll show some long range in that uh, live stream as well. Uh, the live will be from half five to half six. The reason it's a little bit earlier than normal is that uh, I'm after the pictures then on uh, tomorrow evening. I'm going to go and see Attack of the Clones at uh, City Worlds at Six Fields in Northampton. And film starts at 7.15. So uh, I've got to start them the live stream a little bit earlier than normal. I hope that's all right with everyone. Right, well, you yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. I've got the first wing to update to crack on with. And uh, I'll be working one into the night on that, I think. Um, but uh, anyway, you yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. And I shall see you tomorrow. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.